Welcome back to the Mammy Show. This is your host, Rohit. Today we have Jen, the founder, speaker, and the best-selling author of Purpose, Passion, and Pajamas. Thank you, Jen, for getting into the show. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. So we've been talking about a bunch of things into the having a purpose for life, how to find a purpose into the life, and how to follow the passion, you know. So would you just like to give a quick overview of yours first, an intro of yours, how you got started, and so on? Did I get started? Yep. Well, first I thought I wanted to be a corporate executive. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to be an independent woman in a big city. So for me, that was New York City, working in the entertainment business. Mm -hmm. So that was my dream. I thought that was going to be very fulfilling and exciting and, you know, busy and lucrative and that, you know, I would love it. Mm -hmm. And that's the path I followed. And I got a job after college and I worked hard. And for about 12 years, I was that single woman climbing the corporate ladder in television in New York City. And it was a crazy busy life, as you know, you probably can imagine. And it was really a workaholic life. You know, it was a lot of fun and it was glamorous. I traveled a lot. Um, I was able to buy my own apartment and have a lot of the things I wanted. Mm -hmm. But one day I heard a voice in me ask me a simple question, which really challenged what I thought would make me happy in life. And the question was, if this is the next 30 years of your life, is this enough? Now, Rohit, I was very shocked that I heard this voice. <laughs> and I really had to think about my life. And I thought, it's so busy. It's so fast. Time, these 12 years went so fast. If I do stay doing this for 30 years, I'm going to be alone, uh -huh. still the way I am now. I'm going to be tired. And what am I going to have to show for it except some kind of you know, business success, which of course is wonderful, but it's not a full life. And I didn't realize that I was missing a, a personal life, something that I loved that was, you know, that was mine. And I didn't have a husband and children. And my parents, you know, they always assumed I would. They thought I would know that naturally, that that would be a fulfilling part of life. But I was so busy running around chasing the corporate dream mm -hmm. that I neglected to see the value in that until that astounding moment. So I thought, how can I bring children into my life the way I have my life set up now? And I thought maybe at night I could read to children in homeless shelters. Mm -hmm. There's in Manhattan everywhere, but in big mm -hmm. cities, of course, they have yeah. sadly places where children who are not cared for well can be taken to be cared for well. So I started reading there at night and I fell in love with these, these children who were mm -hmm. so lonely and afraid that the police, you know, took out of this dangerous situation, the people that didn't care. And I could spend an hour reading to them and spending time with them. And I loved it. I look forward to that more than my job for weeks. And then one night when I was finished reading to the stories to them, I saw where they were going to sleep at night. And it was, it was really difficult to see. They were sleeping in their clothes. They were afraid. They didn't know what was going to happen to them tomorrow. And I brought pajamas to hopefully comfort them because they, they were wearing their clothes that were all tight or soiled. And when I gave the pajamas out, there was a little girl who was so afraid to get close to me, to take anything from me. Mm -hmm. And when I finally was able to persuade her to take them, that she could keep them, and that they would fit her, and they're so soft, she whispered to me, what are pajamas? And that broke my heart. I, I never could have imagined that there was a child who would ask me, what are pajamas? Yeah. And I know it yeah. sounds crazy because these were children who weren't cared for well. So how could I be shocked that they wouldn't have pajamas? But it all came crashing down on me that the life I was living wasn't helping anyone really, wasn't contributing to humanity, wasn't changing anything for the better, wasn't touching lives. And I started to take that obsession I had with that little girl and that question she gave me that went right to my heart. And I just started bringing pajamas everywhere I could to all the shelters I could find. 
And it, it just grew for, for over 20 years now to, to a national organization called Pajama Program. Amazing. That's the inspiration story, you know? It is. Got it. And how you got started with the successful business coach, you know, like, so you were a business coach as well. Started with a business coaching. Well, I started speaking because people wanted to hear the story. They wanted to be inspired. And I kept saying, if I could do something like this, you can live whatever your dream is. If you want to start a nonprofit, great. If you just want to change your career because something else is calling you, like that little girl and what I could do to help with the pajamas was calling me. Whatever is calling you that you feel like you're supposed to be doing is going to change lives for the better because you're giving yourself to this dream. And that just makes you full of joy. And that's what is contagious. And that's what you, you're putting into the world by doing what you love. You know, some of us do jobs that are okay. We don't love them. That's the energy we're putting into our ourselves. That's the energy we're putting into our company and into the world. But when you take the time to figure out what is your purpose, why are you here? There's something special for you to do. That's what changes your attitude and it changes people around you. It's amazing. What would you like to say about how to, you know, like how say about the living a true life, like true life, living of true life and living a true life? Yes, I think if you take the time to know, to discover what you love to do, what you would do 24 hours a day if you could, if it only would pay you money, that's what you have to find a way to to make some money doing. And if it's impossible, then you continue making money and you do as much as you can with what you love because that will satisfy you and it will change everything in your life. It's like your North Star. It becomes what, what you what you make your decisions about. Is it going to help me get more of this that I love? Because if I'm doing more of this that I love, that's the vibration I'm putting into the world and to everybody I meet. And what would you like to say about like the code, you know, sharing is caring. What about that? Oh, well, I say purpose changes everything. But I also talk about the human connection and once you find what you love and you share it and you talk about it, like I was saying, and other people feel that passion in you, that compassion, they want to hear more. And then you're so excited about what you're doing. You want to find out what is everybody else doing? And it brings us all closer with this bond. And I know that people say the power of one can change, you know, change everything. And people even said that about what I was doing. Look, you're one person, the power of one. And I have learned, Rohit, it's not the power of one that changes things. It's the power of one another that moves mountains and moves people. Do you think every single thing has a purpose in the life, you know, in in in, in career, in relationships, in friendships, in business life, in anything? Without purpose, do you think the life is making sense for anyone or not? There are people who probably don't take the time to find their purpose. Uh -huh. um, that makes me sad because they don't know that they have a purpose. I didn't know I had a purpose. I didn't know we all have our own purpose. I thought famous people had a purpose. You know, the rest of us had a decent life, an okay life, and we would be, you know, grateful for that. But I was wrong. And, and we all have a purpose. And for those people that don't, haven't yet realized that, I, I hope they do because they're missing out on the, the, the reason we're here together. The reason things happen, you know, the reason the pandemic happened has brought us all together and has made us reconsider what we've been doing and maybe make some changes so that we feel more connected and more fulfilled in our, in our work and our personal lives, you know, for each other. Purpose can be driven to the goals as well and the passion as well. It's, it's purposeful. Finding your purpose is what makes you passionate. That's how you know it's your purpose. If you, you know, you wake up wanting to do it and you go to sleep late because you wanted to do it some more. Yeah. You know, that's that's the best way to live, right? Yeah. Last question. How to find a purpose? Well, I can help if if they want to go to my website or my blog. One of my blogs is finding your purpose, how to do it. How to is an exercise for 90 minutes. You read that through, it has step by step to help you 
figure out and discover your personal purpose. Everybody's different. And you need to have some quiet time. You need to really do the exercise and you'll be surprised. I think you'll be very surprised that your purpose will come out pretty quickly. The, the problem we all get stuck on is how to make money doing our purpose because sometimes we think you know we, we love to sing or we love to walk in nature how am i ever yeah. going to make money doing that but there are so many ways that are related to what we love to do mm -hmm. that are profitable living living is important we should have a it is lifestyle yes you, 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 we know that and like you obviously know that money cannot buy happiness but money can help you buy that for sure yes a basic standard living, the lifestyle you want to own, the luxurious things you want to own, and that's the thing, or the people you want to help, the society and so on. Right. That's the thing, I guess. Got it. Any best advice you have for listeners to finding anything in life and go on? Just believe that you do have a purpose. We all have a purpose. I think that's the first thing. You know, I didn't believe it. I didn't think I did. I didn't think I was special enough. But we all are. We're put here because there's something special we were meant to do. It doesn't mean we're the only one who's going to do it. There are lots of singers out there, but we need lots of singers. And they're all different. They all make their own mark on society. They all contribute to enjoyment for others to hear them sing and to see them, watch them perform. So really come to terms and believe that there is something that you and you alone are meant to do, and that it might not be what you've been doing up till now. Got it, Jen. Cool. That's all from my side. By the way, thanks. Thank you so much for getting into the show and sharing these bunch of insights with the listeners and so on. And um, it's been amazing, you know. Thank you. Thank you for this invitation. I really, really enjoyed it. Amazing.